Okay, following right along with the directions here, four of the fill-in triangle squares. We're going to cut these in half diagonally and we're going to have a, our background triangles going the same way. And the fill-in triangle squares were cut from the cutting directions on the map page and now we're going to sew these together just like it shows in the illustration. The important thing here to remember is that you're going to align the tops and this part is going to stick out a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to pin. All right, now we're gonna get a pentagon piece that we cut with a template. I'm gonna position it just like the illustration shows. And now I am going to flip this over so that a half square triangle aligned in the corner and that the single triangle on its own is going to overlap the pentagon piece underneath by a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to pin that into place. And anytime you're working with bias edges like we have here, you just want to be very careful that you're not stretching it out. Okay, I'm going to complete that quarter inch seam. Okay, next we're going to align the capstone square with two more half square triangles and a fill in triangle. So let me sew that together. Okay, next instruction is to get one of our star points and we're gonna align it just like the diagram shows. Pin in one corner and then the next. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this away so that we can get a good fit on that end. And again, this is another bias edge underneath, so we're going to be careful about how we can stretch that. If you have starch, you could also use that to stabilize some of our bias edges. That would be a good idea. So we've got our pentagon piece that we have our half square triangles to. We're going to add the star point segment that we just did. And now we're going to pin these together, making sure that we match the points when we see them, match the ends, making sure that there's a quarter of an inch that sticks out beyond the pentagon piece underneath. Okay, we're gonna set that aside for right now. And we're going to grab another star point from the template that we cut. And we're going to grab our triangle accent fabric. And this one we're going to cut in half diagonally each way to get a quarter square triangle. Without lifting up the fabric, I'm just repositioning my ruler to cut across diagonally in the other direction. Then I'm going to take one of these triangles, a very biasy triangle, and I'm going to align it with my star point, flipping it right sides together. I'm going to pin it and sew it very carefully with a quarter of the triangle sticking out on the end. Now we're going to combine these two segments that we've been working on. And we've got the star point on this other side. We're going to make sure that we align that with this seam right here when we flip it right sides together. I'm lining up that intersection as best as I can and then doing a lot of careful pinning. Hopefully you've recognized that as a theme. There's our quarter inch hanging out from the triangle. I'm going to trim up this end so I can see what's going on underneath. I'll sew this quarter of a seam here. Okay, 
Okay, this is the completed side unit. Once we complete one, we'll go back and do it three more times so we have a total of four. We're getting closer. Okay, now through the magic of television, I have finished all four of the side units and we're gonna set these aside to be used for the final block construction.